Hi, welcome to IBC 2018. I'm Joe O'Halloran, Editor-in-Chief of Rapid TV News, and I'm here with Simon Trudeau, Senior Director of Product Marketing at Naga. Simon, welcome again. Pleasure. Now, if we kick off our conversation in 2018, you guys have just done some research with MTM, and that's predicting a platform agnostic, paid for video future. What do you really mean by that? I think the research we conducted this year has, uh, has shown that uh, there is uh, further change and, and transformation in the way people consume television and video, and we see convergence of the two. And, uh, and, and we feel, listening to, uh, to uh, the executives that were surveyed and interviewed during the program, that uh, we're moving towards a, a world where uh, there will be a platform agnostic approach to distributing content, TV and video, blending together and being made available across all types of devices, all types of networks. Now, there's a little two things to balance here. There are user expectations from these wonderful new services, and I guess the challenges on the operators. Absolutely. Another uh, important aspect of research is that we, we, uh, we found out from the executives that today the numbers were 72% think that uh, uh, subscribers uh, to pay TV services will actually adopt OTT uh, uh, direct-to-consumer plays and apps. And another key figure is that 77% also executives thinks, think that the bundle as we know it today will actually be replaced by new uh, commercial and sales model. So that means that from a technology side and from the operation side, content has to be packaged differently, delivered in a more flexible way, and that implies using new technologies on the back end and in terms of user experience as well, have more flexibility in making sure that consumers find the content they want to watch and actually uh, are enjoying that experience and can move that experience from one screen to another. That's a big challenge for anyone. How does the Nagra product and service set address those challenges? So really what we have uh, done over the past few years is uh, invest a lot in, in bringing our products to first a uh, virtualizing cloud environment, including public cloud delivery. And uh, typically this year at IBC, we're announcing that uh, our security services platform, so the security head end, is brought now and made available on AWS, uh, software as a service, uh, with a first lead customer, uh, Vodafone uh, in Europe. And that's just one example of the transformations that are taking place on our, on our side with our products. But we're also doing the same thing on the user experience side, where our Open TV Signature Edition is also available in the cloud as a service ready to be deployed with a very flexible uh, user interface that can be uh, really driven from the back end, from the marketer's point of view, and not just the engineers. And with a really sole purpose of making sure that the right content is put in front of the right audience and drive consumption, drive monetization and adoption of, uh, of new uh, applications. Now what this also implies is something of a world that's a whole lot more innovative. We're actually here behind the TV one, the key, the new innovation. What other new innovations do you have? Well, as, as a company, we are uh, on one side integrating a platform like Android TV. We're talking about uh, user experience and, and, uh, and our security solutions. So Android TV is now an official play. We have here at IBC an app running on, on Android TV. The uh, uh, Open TV signature actually covers that aspect. And then we have kept investing as well in other product lines within Nagra. Uh, especially in terms of analytics and artificial intelligence, so the Nagra Insight platform that is used by our own uh, uh, products, but also built to be deployed by customers to really drive their, uh, uh, I, I would say, efficiency and better operations on their side, leveraging data and analytics and new algorithms to uh, really crank out the next best action that will drive both monetization and RQ in the long run. Now, a bit of an unfair question. You've explained what's happened today. What's going to happen tomorrow? What are the new challenges do you see the customers and the industry going to throw at you guys? It is for sure we're in a period of digital transformation. Uh, our team at IBC this year is smartly digital. Uh, we are, we've talked about digital television for two decades, but we think that now we're getting at the stage where we are 
facing a business transformation challenge. So service providers will have to provide more flexible solutions, address specific consumer needs and sub-segments in their install base, and have obviously the tools and the technologies to, to really adapt to these fast evolving consumer behaviors. You seem to be saying technology, just having a great technology isn't enough anymore. It's about technology, it's about understanding the business, it's about being consumer focused, but you need the right platforms, you need the right operating model, and obviously you also need to have great content and be able to bring that premium content to all screens. And people are just going to watch more of it. Thank you, Joe. And thank you for watching.